What is up everybody, it's Boy Kane. Now we got here's 50, 50 GTA 5 Easter eggs that you didn't know about. Let's go to the video. Sneaky development company they in are. the entire world. They are. Today, we're gonna be covering every single time Rockstar referenced an old GTA or any of their games in GTA 5. Bro, I can't wait to if GTA 6, man. Any, let us know in the comments below, let's go. During the setup for the jewelry store heist in single player, Lester mentions an Eastern European man who was making I knew this. back in Living Nico. City. Yep. This is a definitive reference to Nico, yep. the protagonist of GTA 4. I remember this, yes. It also suggests that he either retired or died, seeing as Lester says he went quiet. It was a, an Eastern European guy. I remember this, yes. Liberty City. Yeah, he went quiet. He's However, not dead, though. Also, another Nico Easter egg in GTA 5. Where many Jimmy's, yep. I know about this, too, yep. Actually browsing Nico's life invader Brother, page. he's alive, bro. This page is active. Yes. Which is likely showing that Nico is still alive. At the Yellow Jack Inn in Sandy Shores, here you can see four shields. The top two have the words Best of Show 2008 with a motorbike engraved. This is a reference to the year that GTA 4 came out and the expansion Lost and Damned. The middle shield says Best of Show 2008. 2010 with an engraving of a stagecoach wheel. This is a reference to Red Dead Redemption and its release year. Next to Wait, I didn't even original notice that. house in story mode, there's a massive mural on the wall that says, Welcome back, we uh -oh. missed you last time. This is a reference to players who played San Andreas. Man, you got the, uh, the SA. Repository, there's some graffiti on the wall that says Los Santos, but the font is the exact same that Rockstar used for the original Grand Theft Auto game way back over 25 years ago. I didn't even know Notice that. In, there's a picture here of someone driving a tow truck. That person looks exactly like Nico Bellic. Actually, no, that's literally just Nico Bellic. Around the map, you'll find newspapers all over the ground. Many of these have pictures of Johnny Clebert yep. from Lost and the Damned in GTA well, 4. Johnny's dead. Along with the headline, Love's Hate Relationship with Taxes. In the back rooms of the Vanilla Unicorn, there's a sticker on one of the lockers that says Honkers. This is an Easter egg to the Honkers Gentleman Club in GTA 4. In GTA 5, we got Vanilla Unicorn. In GTA 4, it was home. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not know that. garage that you can buy. Up on this shelf here, there'll be a license plate that says Liberty City. Unfortunately, though, we can't get these license plates on our own cars, at least not yet. I mean, because, bro, you're in, you're, in, yeah, you're in a whole other state. The hatch from the TV series Lost. Now, it's not actually possible to get close to the hatch because the water pressure will just kill you. But if you go really? near the hatch, you'll hear someone knocking on the other side. This is actually a message in more code that translates to hey you never call how'd you fancy going bowling which of course is a reference to roman in gta 4 who would always call nico up asking to go bowling the los santos True. country golf club was established in 1992 which of course is a throwback to the year that gta san andreas was set in there's a True. marking on the side of the train that says ls 2004 or in other words los santos Bro, how are y'all like finding this out though yeah the gta san andreas was released least as you enter the yellow jack inn on the left of the entrance there's a coat this jacket is very very similar to nico's first brown jacket let me see on that the one? right side of the del perro Pier, i know that a piece of graffiti that says nothing to see here grew along with a little smiley face next to it which is a throwback to a reference to a similar sign in GTA 3. The San I never saw that sign in GTA 3. I'm going to be honest with you. In 2004, which is another throwback to San Andreas' release year. That's pretty neat. In a lot of the vehicles in the launch version of GTA 5, if you go into first person and have a look at the actual GPS in the car, that GPS shows a map of Liberty City. This could either be an Easter egg or just Wait, for a real? I, I never know the same. Bro, there's a lot of Easter eggs that I don't know. I feel, I feel horrible. when you pull a civilian out of their car and steal it, they'll yell out, I'm moving to Vice City. This could be seen as a throwback to GTA Vice City. <laughs> no hey, no shot. An Easter egg to GTA 6. Who knows what Rockstar was thinking? I'm moving to Vice City. Oh, man. I don't want to die. No, you don't want to move there. there was a you don't want to move there. Because we're going to be terrorizing it. His name is BJ Smith. He's referenced a couple of times here. BJ First Smith. Off, we have the recreation oh. center named after him, as well as one of the convenience stores in East. Hold on, that man, BJ, became a, he became a businessman, okay? Okay, There's BJ. There's a random event in GTA Online where players can rescue Patrick McReary from the police. If you choose to do yeah. so, Packy will say that Liberty City was easier to rob. 
That's because Packy is a character from GTA 4 who is part of Nico's crew. Yep. After you rescue him, you can actually he use told him Michael in that. the Diamond Casino heist. And Packy is also in single player where he mentions that Nico is most likely dead, but he doesn't know that for a fact. No, brother. Packy McCreary from the fine borough of Dukes in God's own Liberty City. I came to LS seeking fame and fortune and I found boredom and idiots. <laughs> There's a homeless guy in Vespucci Beach that holds up a sign saying Serbian bad guys stole all my money, which could be another reference to Nico. Along the water in Vespucci Beach, I thought I heard. often see a few beach towns I love that say LBC. I heart Vice City. Behind the counter in the huh. yellow jacket, you can see several $69 bills hanging on the wall here. The image on these bills is the famous cover girl for GTA San Andreas. The bills also say 10-12-2004, 6 p.m which is 14 days before GTA San Andreas released. Strange. Why, why that date City, though? There's a wholesale and retail store called Broker, which is a reference to the borough of Broker in Liberty City from GTA 4. Bro, they got like a lot of stuff from like the old uh, GTAs, bro. In your arcade, you can play the game Cubed, which is actually a game that was introduced in GTA 4. Next to the Vinewood Sports LS store in Harwick, there's actually a billboard of Tony, a radio DJ from the 3D universe. Right next to that on the billboard next to it is an artwork of the famous GTA twins painted on this building. Just another one of GTA's famous poster girls. On certain weapons from oh, Ammunition, like... you can buy the Yusuf Amir luxury finish. This is a reference to the character Yusuf Amir from the Ballad of Gay Tony. In the in-game movies, two of the movies, Capola Voro and Meltdown, make use of very popular locations from GTA 4. Didn't like Michael make uh, of Meltdown? City. One of the possible heist outfits, the green boiler suit, with the hockey mask. This is a reference to the movie Heat. What's interesting though is this movie was previously referenced in a similar way on the highest mission planned at the Malibu Club in GTA Vice City. One of the best mm. Easter eggs in all of GTA 5 was the three the bikes. Yeah, I know this. Safari, right I know if you this. went to Grove Street, there's a chance that you'll see yep. three people driving BMX down Grove yeah. Street away from the cul de sac. If you get a close look at these guys, they're dressed the exact same as CJ, Sweet, and Big Smoke. Big it's Smoke. Let me get a number nine, Lord. In GTA San Andreas. Man. It's just a liability, CJ. It's just a liability. Why are you about to come back? <laughs> Straight Damn. back into the game, right, dog? When Michael enters his house, there's a chance he'll get the voice line where he says, Daddy's back, bitches. Daddy's back, bitches. Did I hear about this? this I don't think I heard about that one. This is the very first line from the beginning of GTA 4, where one of the characters yells out, Daddy's back, you bitches. So they took out the you, but the rest of it, clear reference. Daddy's back, you bitches! <laughs> oh my god this is from the intro this is from the intro of gta 4 oh my god this man's a freak look at him Rockstar made Man, it Dave's possible a freak. for you to buy clothes and a haircut for michael that makes him look almost exactly like the default attire of tommy Vassetti. wait what during the mission derail I wish I one of the him. requirements to get the gold medal is to land on the train on your first jump the title for this challenge is called better than cj of course oh, the obviously yeah in the mission wrong side of the track yeah bro listen on that mission with trevor bro i was like zero for 50 bro i missed that jump 80 Trump's times listening to the radio in his own car his body there's a chance to hear a conversation between a truck driver and another guy who goes by the name eddie lowe eddie lowe was a serial killer that could be found in alderney by nico in gta 4. this is eddie lowe I just damn near clipped that electric in here. Eddie Lowe? That's me. Ain't you a serial killer? Yeah, very funny. So what if we had the same name? You think I'd be driving a truck all day if I was a serial nah, killer? This man moved to a whole other coast to start acting killer. different. Screw you! What the hell you do for a living? I'm a security guard. Ha! I damn rent a cop. <laughs> don't sit in the chair and watch the world go back. Hey, don't be <laughs> mad at me because you're a truck driver with a serial killer's name. <laughs> go sit in the chair and watch the world go by. It's crazy. He'll shout out the voice line 10 points, which is, of course, a reference back to the original Grand Theft Auto where you would get 10 points for running over a civilian. 10 points! 
on the side of a highway, there's actually I a remember this. number of letters here. Each of these numbers corresponds to a letter of the alphabet, and if you decipher the code, it says all you had to do was follow Slow, the damn yeah. train, CJ. Yeah. Of course, another reference back to wrong side of the tracks from GTA San Andreas. Bro. All we had to do was follow the damn train, <laughs> CJ! Your GTA Online character could quite literally be one of the children of the famous GTA characters that have come before us. Wait, In the character creator, you can choose your character's father <laughs> to be Claude from GTA 3, John Marston from Red Dead Redemption, or Nico Bellic from GTA 4. Wait, what? In many apartments, I didn't, wait, I didn't even we could do 5, that. if you go into your bathroom, you'll see your toothpaste there, but the toothpaste says CJ's toothpaste, another reference to San Andreas. In Franklin's that second man, house in Vinewood Hill, man, CJ got there's toothpaste? three gold records on the wall. One of them belongs to OG Loke from GTA San Andreas. There's also a Mad Dog CD sitting on top of the DJ. Wait, he went gold? And a red and blue colored artwork of Mad Dog with Mad written across the bottom. Also in Franklin's house in Vinewood Hills, on one of the bookshelves, there's a book called The Liberty King with the face of Donald Love from GTA 3. In Lester's Wait. house, there's a book called Surveillance on the bookshelf. On that book is a picture of CJ. Really? There's a private taxi fare mission that you can complete I as remember Franklin. This. At the end of that mission, there'll be a couple cars with interesting numbers. Nico plates. B, okay. One of them says Nico B. And that was the other obvious. One says Roman B. References to Nico and Roman from GTA 4. Around the map, you can find wanted posters for Nico. For from GTA yeah, I did 4 see this before. That say I've, I've seen in big that. bold font, wanted assault with a deadly weapon. There's a random robbery event in GTA 5 story mode. I remember this. You can choose to save Brucey and Packy. Or you can kill them. Run them away from the and take their money. Packy, who we mentioned before, is from GTA 4. Did I kill him or what did I do? Good, I think I helped You're him good, out. Kid. But I do remember this. I fought the law. Michael and Trevor are dressed as police officers on motorcycles. They then throw their half-eaten donuts on the ground. Literally, bro. This is a reference to reuniting the families, a mission from San Andreas, where during that mission, two cops on motorbikes <laughs> drop their donuts on the ground and begin to chase CJ, Sweet, Ryder, and Big Smoke. In the mission, Mr. Phillips, Terry, and Clay, two bikers from Lost and the Damned in GTA 4, try to escape from Trevor. And unfortunately, they didn't last too long. Smith, Speaking of bro. lost and damned characters that didn't last too bro. long, in the same mission, Trevor the took out their cussing, whole Johnny gang, Clements bro. Kind of got yep. curb stomped by Trevor. Destroy. People were kind of upset about this, considering he was a pretty big character in GTA 4. He was, DLC. and he got Last taken one, out one crazy. One of the side characters in GTA 5 and GTA Online has actually been a DJ in radio stations from all GTA games. So no surprise to see Rockstar include him in GTA 5. Unfortunately, though, he has now since left Rockstar Games. So we'll have to see if he appears in GTA 6. Wait, in the what? mission, Mr. Richards, Michael is tasked Why with did going leave? to return Rocco Pelosi, <clears throat> who's a character from the... Oh, yeah, Rocco got home. stomped out. Just like many characters who made cameos, they ended up dying. And so did Rocco by yep. the end of Michael. Karen yep. Daniels, Nico's first girlfriend in GTA 4, who ended up ratting him out. This played scamming in a few ooh. missions in GTA 5 and GTA Online. First in the Three's Company. I knew I recognized her, bro. Humane Labs raid in GTA GTA Online. This that character traitor, bro. She did Nico dirty, bro. Times working for the IAA across multiple games. What are you yep. doing here? This is no place for you, Michelle. As it happens, it is. As it happens, it is. Nico, I have been working for the government. Tough. The character named Bernard, or as we more commonly know him in GTA Online, he was in GTA 4. Is actually a returning character from GTA 4, where yep. he ended up blackmailing Nico. Yeah. Yep. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. But I'm fighting with him. And guess what? So are you. Now let's no, get into the Easter eggs and references from other Rockstar games. The Dignity Super Yacht is extremely similar, almost directly copied from the boat that's in the beginning mission of Max Payne 3. Now that's definitely an interesting way to reuse assets. Uh, There's an interesting book in Frank okay, you can have that shelf in his Vinewood Hills home. This Red Dead, okay. It's titled Red Dead. Oh, by Jay Marston. And it's written by Jay Marston. Okay, okay. People have speculated that this could actually be John Marston's son, Jack. 
who stated in Red Dead that he might actually write a book himself one day. Oh. Well, maybe this is it. In Los Santos, there's a company called Escalera. This is a rental car business, and this is an Easter egg from Red Dead Redemption, where there's a town with the same name. To be clear, right, the town name's not rent car it's Escalera. If you go to Suburban as Michael, similar to the Tommy Vassetti <laughs> Easter egg, you can buy a shirt that's very Bro. similar to one Max Payne wears. <laughs> During the story mission, Daddy's Little Girl, the guy you rent the bike from at the bike rental place on Vespucci Beach is actually wearing a John Marston No, he's not. No, he's not. No, Similar there's to the no Daddy's way. Back voice line by Michael, he'll also occasionally say, Honey, I'm home. I know this. Honey, I'm home. Now, obviously, this is a common phrase, but this is the exact same line that Max Payne used during a cutscene. Okay, all right. He's trying to connect phone, anything to, Matt, that to Max Payne. Attacked. And what's funny is Michael has the same thing happen to him in the mission Meltdown. Honey, I'm home. Wait, what? One of the in-game TV commercials for Up and Adam Burger is set in the year 1950. This footage actually reuses images from L.A. Noir, which of course is another Rockstar game. Yeah. It's an NPC that can spawn <clears throat> outside the vanilla unicorn wearing a jersey that says Hopkins on the back, referencing the main character in Bully, Jimmy Hopkins. There's a cafe in Vinewood called Cafe Redemption. This is most likely an Easter egg to Red Dead Redemption, of course. Over in okay, you can have that one. There's a lot of graffiti. Oh, okay, now, nah, okay. Here I... Looks like a silhouette of John Marston. I'm gonna give you that Another one. Another cool nod to Red Dead. I'm gonna During give you that the one. drive to the Polito <laughs> score, Michael will mention his first heist. He'll talk about how it was on the outskirts of Casa City in 1988. This is a neat little Easter egg to Rockstar's game Manhunt that was set in Casa City. Not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts, Casa City. Um, how come, bro, how come I, like, I don't know the, I mean, obviously these are Easter eggs, so I don't know. If you played GTA 5 story, you'd know that Michael DeSanta's real last name is Townley. Yeah, DeSanta Townley, yeah. is the name that the FIB gave to Michael under, well, witness protection. Yeah. The surname DeSanta is a reference to Captain DeSanta, who is a major antagonist in Red Dead Redemption. The Elysian Fields Freeway is a reference to the Elysian Fields Development Company from L.A. Noir. At the mask store, you can bro, buy a Bro, they're connecting everything. Mask, I'm going to be honest with you. Very, very close to pig from Manhunt. Rockstar really thought of Easter eggs absolutely. Okay, no, no, everywhere. that was very, that's in actually very similar. There's a mini game called Nazar Speaks. Madame Nazar is a character from Red Dead Redemption 2. There's also a hidden Easter egg where you can get a phone number that you dial that lets you speak to Madame Nazar, which of course is terrifying considering she has been dead for a very long time. Yeah, it's very scary. Oh, no, I'm not calling that. Or my phone gonna blow up if I call that number. No. The future is open to me. And that is every Easter egg about it's everything. GTAs or other Rockstar listen. games in GTA 5. Listen, 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 listen. We got some very, very, very interesting facts that we didn't know. I Listen, I knew some. Uh, the first few were very, like, uh, like I've seen those before. Um, I think, like, the... Uh, here's what I'll say. I think a lot of the Nico Bellic ones I knew, like, obviously... Um, I knew like the one it like the one poster one I knew whenever Jimmy like was uh was on his computer and he was looking at uh Nico Bellic's um like uh page or whatever. I knew that one. Um What else did I know? What else did I know? Uh and I know I, I think I knew um oh yeah, whenever uh Lester was talking to Michael about oh there was a guy in, in uh Liberty City who went quiet, of course he's talking about Nico Bellic, of course. Um, but yeah, there was a there was a lot that I that I knew, man. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did join my reaction to this, man. And comment down below, man. Uh, which fact did you guys find interesting? Because uh, there's a lot of things that I didn't know. But again, there were some things that I did, that I previously knew, bro. The game's been out for ten years. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up on some Easter eggs uh, either early on or uh, or later down the line. So it is what it is, man. Again, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See so you guys later. Peace out and peace.